What's up guys? It's me, Gearholic here, with another review. And today it's going to be a review over something I just I just recently got in the mail. And I'm super excited to show you guys. It's the Mora Bushcraft Oh Survival Knife, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, the Mora Bushcraft knife is absolutely phenomenal. I could not wait to get one of these knives. I've actually been waiting for quite some time to get one of these knives. I'm very excited about this particular knife because I do really love my Mora Bushcraft, uh, Mora Bushcraft Robust Knife. It is an excellent knife, and especially for the money, $13 or $15, uh, wherever you're going to find it, it's not going to be that much. Um, definitely underneath the $20 range, and an absolutely phenomenal knife, um, and, and just can do so much work, and it's such a workhorse of a knife, and have done so much fun stuff with this knife, and carried it for so long, and, and really just beat up on this knife. But I know that uh, eventually one day I would have to replace it or I'd find a cooler knife to to put into my category of knives. And I have always looked at the more bushcraft blades as being something really cool that I've always wanted. And I finally got myself one. And so I am super excited uh, about this entire purchase. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, so it arrived to me in this awesome plastic packaging, which I have I really have yet to even open up this blade and use it. Uh, at all. Uh, I, I seriously went from uh, opening it to the computer to shoot this video. And uh, this is a fantastic blade. I really, really cannot wait to use it. I am so excited. Um, but it comes in this really cool plastic sheeting, which is reusable. Um, it does have like these little tabs here and up at the top and at the bottom, kind of surround the entire item uh, and, and, and really kind of help hold it in place. So you can kind of get, uh, you, you can reuse this packaging if you wanted to store it. Um, you know, or if you got it and, you know, you just want to keep it for a keepsake, uh, it's a really great thing to, to hold on to because honestly, the, the packaging is, is perfect. It's very minimalistic and very simple, and I like that. Way to go, Mora. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the knife. This is just pop this little tab and open it up. And in the inside, you got your Mora Bushcraft Survival Blade, which comes with it, obviously. You have a really cool sheath that's made out of polypropylene and it's very well made, very well crafted. It's got a little nice little water water exit hole there. Um, very good construction and it's honestly super durable. It looks like it's going to hold up to a lot of tasks. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of get into that a little bit more too. And then uh, obviously it comes with these belt clips, these uh, individualized belt clips. Uh, what you have here is you have your uh, you have a three inch uh, natural belt loop uh, that, that you slip onto your actual belt um, rather than clipping it on. And then you actually have a clip version that you can also put on to your knife. So you have like options, which is really kind of cool. Um, you know, that's, that's a little bit different. And to actually attach the, to actually attach the two together, um, you simply just take the tabs uh, that are found on the back of the actual, uh, on the actual hook and loop closures. Uh, and uh, you place it, you place it, you match it up with this hole down here, okay? Press in and pull up, and there's a nice little snap sound, and then the whole thing is functional. You can kind of wear it however you want, which is kind of neat. You guys will probably see that more online. I'm just kind of doing a general overview. The actual knife slides into it very well and secures. It seems like it's going to secure really well. Yeah, there's no blade play or anything in there, so it's actually a really nice tight fit which is really nice, and that's what you want to see. We'll go ahead and get this packaging out of the way. This packaging, very simple. Uh, so my overall impressions of the knife are actually really cool uh, because it gives you so much that actually comes with the blade. Um, you know, not just not just the blade itself, but these actual back tabs are really nice. They're interchangeable, which is, uh, you know, super functional in, uh, you know, in, in, in your different task roles. Uh, you know, it's really great too because they're interchangeable and, and they're so easy to interchange. So you see there's like a little button back here, a little like a nodule or whatever you can press in. You just, you take the knife out of the sheath and you press that in and you turn this about a quarter way and the whole thing just kind of pops right out. Real simple, really, really, really simple. Um, and then you can pop in the other one and just kind of interchange them, which is kind of nice. So that being said, I'm going to just kind of move out, move these out of the way. Well, that's really neat, and I really like the sheath. I think the sheath is absolutely well made. Um, uh, you know, and, and I mean, especially for what you're paying. Uh, I mean, obviously there are better sheaths you could buy out there, but this knife, this knife sheath particularly, is going to be uh, quite handy. Um, I'll probably end up getting a Kydex sheath for this, 
just to cut down on weight and, and kind of cool factor. Um, I did obviously get the, the bright orange version, which is suitable for my needs because I like being able to visibly see my knife when I'm outdoors and uh, you know, I use my knives quite a bit. So it is very bright and it is almost like, it's almost too bright to look at. But at the same time, I think it's gonna come in handy um, you know, in the future. So that's gonna be really nice to kind of be fun to have and, and, and caress. So I'm gonna get on with the actual neck review itself. So the overall knife length is uh, 9 uh, 9.25 inches with a blade length of 4.2 and an handle, a handle length of five inches. Um, the actual blade material is 12C26, uh, sorry, 12C27 Sandvik steel, um, and uh, it's a stick tang, or, or yeah, you know, it's a, a three quarter, uh, three quarter tang, which means the tang actually terminates right around here, uh, and so you get that much, you get that much knife actually in your handle, um, and then the rest of the ba the back end is a plastic, um, which is also good for you know, pounding in steaks if you had to, or, or crushing nuts and berries, uh, which is nice. The handle itself is actually, uh, it's it's some sort of polypropylene handle covered in a kind of nice little grippy uh, texturing on the outside, which is nice. If you have like wet hands, it's not going to slip out of your hands, or if you have sweaty hands like me, it shouldn't really slip out of your hands. It kinda, can kind of be used in almost really any kind of, uh, any kind of weather. Um, and you know, that's kind of nice. Uh, it is the contours of the handles feel really good in the hands. It does a very gentle, nice swooping. Uh, and then with a very, a very secure feel of like this, this nice, uh, what do you call this? A finger choil It's very nice finger choil right here that you can really dig into for close to finer tasks, you know, for carving on wood. Um, it is kind of, it is kind of angled. So you can do, you can do power cuts with it. You can just get your thumb kind of right here. And you can do power cuts with it. And you power through any kind of material, really, which is nice. You know, it's got a very beautiful grind on the actual blade itself, um, and 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 it, the overall finish of the knife is absolutely superb. I can't see anything, any manufacturing flaws at all on the actual blade, which is really nice. I know that the quality standards for Mora has always been very high. Um, on their lesser, more less expensive knives, uh, obviously the standard is going to drop a little bit, um, but you're going to get that with any kind of knife really, any knife company. So it's just really good to see a knife that really works and really functions quite well. I know for a fact that this knife is gonna hold up uh, really well to the test of time because of the uh, of the steel that it has. Uh, it's that 12C27 Sandvik steel, which I've used in the past in my Moral Companion. And I know for a fact, I love that blade steel and, and I think this knife is gonna be like my new favorite knife to go to all the time, every time. Um, especially for backpacking trips and long distance trips where I have to, uh, you know, carry lightweight and I have to, you know, I have to carry something that I know is going to be sturdy and I'm going to be able to use it anywhere around the camp or kitchen chores or whatever. Uh, and even in bushcrafting, which is not the back of the actual blade itself is very aggressive. It's a perfect 90 degree angle, very sharp on the edges. So you can actually throw sparks. Um, and I actually have my ferro rod here. Uh, so it, you can actually cast sparks off with, with the actual back of your blade if you wanted to, which I think would be very efficient and very effective. Um, so that's really nice. Kind of a nice feature that they, they have on all the Bushcraft knives, um, or the Bushcraft series. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I, I know this is laser etched in. I know this is a real nitpick thing. This is laser etched in, and you can obviously see this says Mora, Mora, Mora Kneven, you know, all that stuff. Uh, stainless steel. Um, I kind of wish that they stamped this into the blade. I really like the Mora logo and everything. I like the other Moras where they're stamped right into the blade. Um, and I don't know why they've gone to a laser etching uh, like they did on my on my carbon, uh, my uh, robust carbon steel. They they had a laser etched in their logo, but now it's no longer there. You can't even see it after I did the patina that I did to it. So you can kind of see it. You can barely see it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. And these two knives, really side by side, um, and ounce wise, uh, they're very different. Um, but even, even uh, as, so the more Bushcraft is actually, uh, it's four point, I'm sorry, not more, this is the more robust. The more robust is actually four point, I mean, two, 2.47 ounces total. And that is just the blade itself. With the sheath, I think it's like right around three ounces, which really isn't that bad of a deal. Um, and I've used this blade quite a bit and, and done a lot of damage. I already did a review, I think, on this knife. 
If you guys are interested, you can go watch that review. And I love this knife. I really can't say enough about this knife and how wonderful it really is. Um, uh, but this knife alone uh, only weighs uh, 3.8 ounces, so it's almost 4 ounces. But it, if you're thinking about how much blade you're carrying, 4 ounces, I got a Kershaw Cryo that weighs 4 ounces, 4.1 ounces. So this weighs less than that, and it has more blade length and more durability than that more, more I mean, than that Kershaw Cryo. So that's just kind of like an interesting fact uh, that I, I think is one of those key, key, key elements to buying knives. Um, I, I believe, one of my philosophies is I believe you should carry a lightweight, uh, heavy duty knife with you, um, even if it's full tang or if it's skeletonized liners or whatever you want to carry, whatever your option is, you should really count the ounces, especially if you're doing backpacking or extreme, extreme hiking or whatever you're going to be doing outdoors. I think that cutting down ounces and weight is absolutely superior, um, especially if you're doing uh, long distance trips <clears throat> to save energy, time and calories. Um, it just is smarter, uh, and these these knives, these more knives, are a lot better option than you would think they would ever be, which is which is far superior to some of the knives I've seen out there, uh, and and their durability and their their um, their reliant reliability is absolutely you know superb. Uh, I've never had a problem with any of my mores ever. I've have and I probably have like one, two, three. I have like four or five mores now. And it's it's ridiculous, and I use each one of them. I use them hard. I don't I don't I don't play nice. They're not just like fancy toys that I just keep in the drawer or anything. These they're they're really hard knives, and I have really beat the crap out of some of my knives, especially my Moral Companion, which is orange and it has the same steel. It used to be my kitchen knife, and I put it through the kitchen test. I mean, cutting everything from cutting everything from rope and tomatoes and you know lemons whatever and it just it has nothing is nothing has beaten it uh at all i mean it's just withstand it withstands everything you throw at it so i'm really glad that i have this knife and i'm so excited about it uh i think that this is going to be a, one of my new favorite knives i'll definitely do a a review a follow-up review on this knife once i actually get a lot of good usage on it i think i'm about to about to go on a trip so i'll be I'll be actually using this knife quite a bit uh, on that trip, and and we'll see we'll see and and test its rigors, and maybe I'll come back and do a secondary follow up review in a few days. Um, but uh, that's really all I have for now. Uh, that is the Mora that is the Mora Bushcraft knife. Um, highly recommended by me uh, and 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 um, my philosophies of usage. I think it fills every single role you could ever put it in. Um, it's a great all around knife. Super cheap. I only paid like. I think it was online. It was twenty seven dollars, uh, twenty seven dollars on Amazon for this specific model, the orange and stainless steel. Um, that's not including shipping and handling and tax. So um, check it out online. If you guys find better prices, that's great. Uh, but you know, I paid, I paid almost next to nothing for this knife, and and I think it's gonna get a lifetime's worth of use out of it. So, all right, guys. Well, you guys have a wonderful afternoon, and uh, be safe out there, and try not to cut yourselves. This is Keter Hollick and I'm signing out.